IPA, Indian Pale Oil, Bhutanese style. Never tried before. Very bitter taste. Oh, but I like it. It's hoppy. Oh, it's nice. Good evening everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in beautiful Paro, Bhutan. Today I'm actually gonna take you to try some craft beer in Bhutan. Craft beer and craft beer food. And what is the name of this brewery? It's called Snamge. And I would say this is the only brewery in Bhutan who makes beer from the red rice. I think it's the only brewery in the world that makes beer from red rice. Red rice, I think Red so, rice, because yeah. red rice is a staple in Bhutan. That's yes. the way you guys produce the most of. Yes. The white rice comes in from India. Mm -hmm. And I tried this beer the other day when I was in Timpu. Timpu. Delicious dark ale, but they have more varieties. They don't just have like four. They have like six or seven. And then the food is going to be amazing. Look at the view. You have the view right here over the airport and my flight is there for tomorrow morning. <laughs> All right, let's go try some beer. Love the smell. Oh, incredible. And there's a spot. Beautiful. Love the, love everything. It's always wood, no? Bhutan's all wood. Wood, 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 everything. Where do I want to sit? I don't know, how are we doing this? All right there? That's good. So, Finsu, you're gonna give me a tour? <laughs> Finsu's a little shy, <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> You're nervous? Nah, don't be nervous. Now this is a brewery. Look at this. Huge fermenting tanks. The brew system. What's up guys? Good evening. And welcome to Namgi Artisanal Brewery. So I will introduce myself. So I'm Pinto. And working as a FM supervisor. So today I'm going to explain our brewery. So we'll start from here. So we have uh, three main tanks out here. So this uh, middle one is mash tank water tank and the whole pool tank and these two are water tank hot water and cold water so firstly mash tank we add water and barley malt mash for two hours to attract the ingredients in mash tank after that we turn to water water tank so in water what you do is we uh, segregate the ingredients in water tank from water we turn to whirlpool so in whirlpool we add hops how it brings aroma and bitter taste to beer and we boil for 93 degree in whirlpool tank. After that we turn to fermentation. So in total we have uh, 13 fermentation tanks. So total we produce here uh, 9 types of beer. Here in fermentation tank, here we add yeast and keep it for 15 to 20 days in fermentation tank. After that we store it bottling and cakes. Oh and cakes, and cakes. Yes. yeah yeah. So you have small cakes, these are like Quarter kegs or something yeah. like that, right? So we Very have small. 20 liter, 10 liter. So these are the, uh, these five are storage tank. So help of this uh, cap, we fill up these cakes. After that, we take it to bar and connect by tap. So by tap, we pour the glass. So these are the cakes, right? This is awesome. <laughs> this is the bottling system. Yeah. Great. We have uh, total nine tests, but in bottle, we have only four types only. So we have red rice, tarkel, wheat, and apple cider only. Okay. So rest are you'll get by uh, tap only. The other five beers, you can only try them here. That's sort of how it works with breweries. You know, they produce, you know, 10, 20 beers, but only like three or four hit market. Uh, on, you know, so you can buy it at a supermarket. Mm -hmm. The rest, you have to come here and try it here, yes, right? By tap only. By tap only, awesome. This, so this is the whole place. Mm -hmm. Wow. And this is, this is Bhutanese. This is just like Bhutanese. Bhutanese, yes. Wow. Our brand is Bhutanese. We're walking through the fermenting tanks and right here we have local pale ale, we have wheat beer, we have wheat beer, another one, pineapple beer, what else we got? We got dark ale, oh I can't wait for that dark ale, it looks so good, milk stout, phenomenal, druk pineapple, druk pineapple, what is that? We're gonna try all of them now, right? All nine? We try all of them? Yes sir. All right, I think I, the milk stout is what I'm gonna love. Milk stout, dark ale. My favorite. So we'll serve you, sir. <laughs> Let's try this beer. I can't wait. Bhutanese beer. Most people don't think about a craft beer in Bhutan. Like people don't think there's craft beer. But there's craft beer here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so firstly we'll serve you a red rice lager, which is made of our Bhutanese local red rice. So alcohol content is 6.5. And second, dark ale. And third, wheat beer, IPA, Indian pale ale. Pineapple goose, milk stout. The milk stout? <laughs> yes. Great. Milk stout. And apple cider, uh, pilsner, 
and lastly local pele so oh. before we have uh, only eight types of beer so recently we added one more flavor that is local pele so now we have nine types of beer okay so how do i start this one yes you, you can start from here the red rice yeah. oh wow it's smooth so it's actually a very unique taste it, it's very different a little ricey not like ara but more beer rice and barley Mm. This is my favorite. I tried this the other day. The dark ale. See, I feel like this is almost like a like a dunkel, you know? Like a German beer. Right? Like a dark German beer. I could do another a pint of that. The wheat beer. Mmm. It's a nice light wheat beer. So the red rice is 6.5, the wheat beer is 4.5. Rice and rice. And this is very small. This is like what, two or three ounces? Indian IPA, pale. Indian pale ale, Bhutanese style. Never tried before. Very bitter taste. <laughs> oh, but I like it. It's hoppy. Oh, it's nice. This is this is everybody's favorite. You know the IPA. IPA is for craft beer. IPA. You know, I started beer with the IPA. I actually started with the Guinness style, and then I went towards IPA, and I did a lot of IPA. Nothing is like really high in alcohol, right? Yeah. Everything is low, 6.5 and under, right? High so low, it's 6 point. Pineapple goose? Mm. You taste the pineapple. It's almost like a... I don't even know what this call is. It's almost like a blonde, like a blonde, right? Like, like pineapple, very beachy. It's a little bit sour. No? You know what? Yes, exactly. It's a little, sour. It's a little sour, a little bit. Next one is gonna be my favorite, the milk stout. This is gonna be the best. Like American taste? Mmm. Yeah, like you said, espresso beans, yeah, you know? Oh, that's amazing. Apple cider? Oh, that's good. Mmm. I like it. Usually, breweries don't serve like cider, but this is great. It's nice, it's light. A little cloudy. My brother-in-law's family owns an orchard in northern Spain, so we drink a lot of cider up there. A lot of cider. It's a little different. It's not beer, obviously. It's just like like a thicker cider. That one's just more like light, but it hits you really hard. Pilsner. Pilsner. Yes. And by the way, the water is the key to the beer. Bad water, bad beer. Good water, good beer. Here, Himalayas, you know, the snow, great water. It's super light. Oh, it's great. I drink like 10 of those. That is like an awesome Pilsner. It's, it's probably the lightest Pilsner I've ever had. Local pale ale. So what'd you guys do that made it so local? Mmm. Mm. It's light. It's, um, I don't know what to say about it. I mean, in terms of like, compared to the IPA, the difference is this is way less hoppy. That's usually how pale ale is, you know? I mean, I like the red rice, I like the milk, I like the local. They're all really good, but I think those are like, these two are my favorites for sure. These Asian two. Milk star, right? Yeah. I think I'm gonna take another one of these. One more. Like my friend said, chili cheese, pork, potato and cheese, spinach soup, uh, cucumber salad with spices, and something else in there. And then we also have right here, amazing but we uh, pancakes mm -hmm. and rice. So do I just eat this alone, or? Mm. Dip in chili cheese. Maybe get some chilies, right? A few? It is my last name, Bhutan. Mm. Mm. This one's delicious and not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Not too spicy. Let me get a little more. Like that. Mm, so good. Mm hmm. And also, what's amazing is that this set menu comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things and costs like $4.50. Yeah. $4.50 new. So, like seven, eight dollars, right? Yeah. It's a pretty great deal. I mean, you eat for that much, dinner. And here we have the spinach. Do I, dr do I drink it like this? Mmm. A little spicy. Also, herbs in here. But it has a numbing chili. Wow. 
do the numbing every day. Obviously, I'm gonna take a break because I've been doing it for like eight straight days. My stomach isn't happy. Your stomach is going to be better from tomorrow. So what they've told me is that I'm like eating chilies like straight. They don't do that. They mix it with rice, like non-stop. See, I, don't, I barely touch the rice. They keep putting it in, putting it in, putting it in, and mixing it. That like coats your stomach a little bit, helps you digest it better. I like it like this though, so straight. Like chili, cheese, to the mouth. Mm. Mm. The best thing to do is add the buttwheat pancake. Go in there and break off a piece. Indian style. Dip. Oh yeah. It's so good. My man eats a mountain of rice every single time we eat. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Fuck me, right? <laughs> <laughs> so T told me to add some of the pork to the rice. We made basically the gravy, right? Like that. All of it. Try some of that. I love this restaurant. Mmm. Oh wow. This is a creamy gravy. This is the first one I've had like this. Dude, this feels like India. This one? Exactly like India. Mmm. So good. Flavorful. Nice and light. Not cr too crazy on the spices. No chilies here. Nice and chunky and fatty. Mmm. Mm. The it's non veg really here in Bhutan. Oh, it really is the best. Now it's hot, no? A little hot. Yeah. The problem with the chilies is sometimes it affects your stomach the wrong way. You know? Yesterday, all three of us, or two days ago, we ate the easy. Oh. The breakfast time, right? Mm -hmm. I could, like, only able to eat just a little bit. And you still felt bad. Two of you guys, you are the one like, who have been eating too many of that chili salsa. So I haven't tried the potato and cheese yet. So let's dive in here. Mmm. Mmm. Ice cream potatoes. A little chili. Mm-hmm. So they add processed cheese and fresh, fresh cow cheese. My boy here loves the rice. <laughs> but it's only white rice, it ain't red rice. <laughs> he goes crazy with it. For sure. That's his second full plate of rice. <laughs> and I haven't even touched my rice. <laughs> and I'm getting full, dude. <laughs> Last but not least, cucumber salad with some spices and some cheese. Mmm. Mmm. So like crumbly. Oh, this is this is like another like Greek salad style. Look at that. Mmm. I love how the cheese is like in bits and pieces. And the chili is there. Oh. <laughs> he really didn't want the chili cheese. Oh, it's my last night. It's the last time I'm gonna eat this for a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to eat until tomorrow morning. My friends always like, I had dinner, I'm not eating till breakfast. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the food's so good here. So good. It's spicy, it's creamy, it's authentic. Oh, you have to go to Bhutanese food in this brewery. Oh. Mm. When you come to Bhutan, most people go to the hotels and they eat the, like the buffet. And that's like Western. Indian because he haters a lot of Indians because they have like I think like 80% of, of the tourists that come are Indian But I highly recommend going all out and trying traditional Bhutanese food every day all day long if you can You know the chili cheese might be too spicy the easy might be too spicy everything else is fine, you know really good This was an incredible meal like everything was so good. Everybody's like melting here This brewery is awesome Beers are so good. The only brewery in Bhutan that brews red rice beer. Red rice beer, never tried before. And there's also multiple breweries in Bhutan, but this is the one you have to go to in Paro, Paro. When you come to Paro, you have to come to Nange Artisanal Brewery. Nine different beers. My favorite for sure was the red rice and the milk stop. 
Dark Ale as well. Uh, so good. But guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. And when you come to Bhutan, do everything I did. It's just the, the way to go. David's been here. Let's go.